the best is yet to come. I thank God this morning for just being God. No matter what happens, it's God. No matter how it comes, or no matter how it goes, it's still God. Someone said, why you talk so much about him? Well, there is a special love. Because number one, he says, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and thy soul and the mind. So my spirit is drawn unto God. I have been waiting for a special day and an hour to come where men will praise God with the whole heart. Reserving nothing, but just know that he is who he is and he will always be God. The very first and the last. Our hope stays in him. This morning, I just feel the anointing. We will walk in here, we walk into him. But what to say, we leave it to him. For he knows who you are and he knows your thoughts he knows everything about you so we come to praise him just to thank him for another day for blessing us and keeping us the spirit of the lord is all in this house right this moment I want to thank him for being so good to us. I think of these things because he's better to us than we are and to ourselves. So we want to thank God this morning and give all unto him who is able to do all things but fail. So I will pray and ask God for his anointing and his power to come down and rescue us from the hopes that should be always. Heavenly Father, it's good to be here, be back in your house. And we want to thank you, we want to praise your wonderful name, that holy name, the name that brings power into your people. We want to thank you for all things that you have done. We give you glory and we give you honor. We know that thou art able to do all things. I am searching for deepness, dear God. The depth in thee, O oh Lord, that bring forth, that brings forth, that even when many of ages prayed, their prayers was answered right then and there. We want to bring forth, dear Jesus, thy name to the world, that the world may receive you and believe in you and have hope in you and faith. I want to thank you so much, Lord, for you are our God. You are our Savior. Thou art the Christ, the living God. I want to thank you so much for the healings, for everyone that's out there, Lord, that they raise their hands unto thee out all across the world. Let them know that you are the Savior who heals and set free. Thank you, Lord, for none of them bringing them into your fold bringing them in where they can hear you speak, that they may know that thou art a good God, yeah. a holy God, a rich God, a prosperous God, yeah. a God that moved mountains. Thank you, Lord, so much. Cover them right now and let them know that you are perfect in all of your ways. I want to give thanks to you this morning 
all of the praises and the thanks forevermore. All, all fall in your precious name. We give thanks. And let all the ministers out there, let them raise their hands also, that you may deliver them from the snares of the enemy. That they may know, Father, thou art still the holy God. And if all would come unto thee, you're able to forgive. And still bless because look who you are. Yeah. The king of all. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. All oh, you want is someone to believe in your name. Thank you, Jesus. And live according to thy word. on the road. I put my foot down. I wanted to hurry and get home. God brought us home. Hallelujah. My husband was in the back and I, hey, hey, trying to stop me because, you know, it's something that old and you pushing, <laughs> pushing the gas. <laughs> so I'm going to clonk the clonk out. <laughs> but he clonked me right at home. Yes. So I'm saying, I said that to say this. Whenever you hear the voice of the Lord, fear not. If he had ever told you and given you a promise, fear not. Because he's there to fulfill. And he will fulfill every promise. Everything that he has ever said, he will fulfill. I was thinking this morning on... You know, we see so many little clips of people food poisoning others. 
and they don't even know it. They, I, I, you know, some things don't ever come to your mind, but I don't know what these people want them dead or what, but it comes the way I see it. Some have little needles and spraying something in the food. And I thought to myself, everything that we do, it's written. Yes. It's written. And so we'll talk about now food poisoning. You know, today the Bible says the thief coming to kill is still and to destroy. But he said, I come that you may have life in that more abundant. Mm -hmm. So as I watched those shows, I tried to take them and send them out to people that may be in the same situation. Mm -hmm. Don't eat, don't drink, watch. Amen. Especially if, if God is with you. Hallelujah. See, Satan is jealous, mm -hmm. yes, and is. he come to kill. Yes, so I was thinking on, in it, was there anyone in the Bible that you know of was poisoned? Yes, ma'am. Uh, it was the third king of the third world power. His name was Alexander the Great, which uh, is written in... Uh, Daniel, the second chapter. Okay. The belly of brass. Now, uh, he was the king of Greece at the time. And he was a great uh, warrior, a, a strategist. And he was the one that overcame the Persian Empire that was before him under Darius and Cyrus. Okay. What happened, jealousy rose up amongst his generals. So they wanted to take the kingdom for themselves because this man was so great. I mean, he destroyed kingdoms greatly. That's why he's referred to as the leopard with the four wings. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they conspired and they got together and they poisoned him to death. And he died at the age of 32 years old. 32? 32 years old. From being poisoned? From being poisoned by his four generals. Why did they do that? Did I miss something? Out of spite and jealousy, because he became so great and so well known amongst the people. See, see, people, see, uh -huh. see. That's what I meant. I, I, you know, I read, but some things I'm not drawn to to even think certain things about, mm -hmm. because I'm more with uh, Christ, you know. But anyone else? Yes, in the Roman Empire, there are a series of. Uh, um, the kings of the Roman Empire, they also conspired along with the, the Senate and the Congress. So some of the senators would get together. If they didn't like the way that the Caesar was running the empire, and, and maybe they was hurting financially, uh, internal corruption, so some of the uh, senators would get together and they would poison the Caesar. And you had a, um, so many of them was poison, and this is one of the reasons why the Roman Empire fell to its demise. You know, you make me think, whoever's like running for president, mm -hmm. you better be careful, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, my, my thing is now, where was God in their lives? Did God warn them of such? Yes, he did. As a matter of fact, every world empire that is spoken, there were seven world empires written in the book of Revelation 13. The first world empire was Egypt. God warned them about the children of Israel, and they later was destroyed. The second world power was Assyria. Third world power was Babylon, which was under Nebuchadnezzar. The fourth world power was uh, Media Persia, which was the the chest of silver and the arms of silver under Darius and Cyrus. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you had Alexander the Great, which is Greece, which represents the belly of brass. The two legs of iron was the Roman Empire, the eastern and western parts of Rome. And then you have your, your feet part iron, part clay, which is an admixture, which is the kingdom of today, which is the whole world. It's the whole kingdom 
Okay, so I'm looking at God. My eyes, as I was saying over there, I'm looking at God. At the time, they were poisoning all. Oh, that's what I meant. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. They were being killed. They were being poisoned. A lot of it was through envy, jealousy, because they, one wanted to rise up in his power and take over his throne. Mm -hmm. So they would get with the senators and make promises, uh, you know, with money, uh, materialism, and then they would poison, and then the next Caesar would rise up. And after so long, when they got tired of him, they killed him, and another one rise up. And this went all through, it's all in the Bible history. You'll find a lot of them were poisoned to death. You know, I, I never paid any attention to poison. Now, I know, you know, about them killing me, but I didn't know, couldn't with the poison. Yes, ma'am. You know, people are evil these days. Amen. Amen. The day and time we live in, Amen. it's about the same thing going on. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering why they, have you seen them on those clips about they were poisoning and getting rid of kids like some would get married and try their best. Most of it's for money. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. these days, mm -hmm. people marry for money uh -huh. instead of love. Mm -hmm. And after they get a hold to these ministers or who, whoever they are, see, all they wanting is their game, their game. Mm -hmm. Nothing they have done. And you know what? The world gives it to them. Say, let's say they go to court, uh -huh. and they are awarded. You know, people should. I'm not a judge, but I know God is. Mm -hmm. But if I were a judge, I wouldn't give them nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, give, give, don't give. It, if they have not lived together and stayed to me seven years. If I was a judge, I said seven years on you. Mm -hmm. And then that'll prove what did you marry the person for. Mm -hmm. You know. Because love is God, and God is love. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And you don't play with the spirit of the Lord. Right. So in order to judge, you gotta judge justly and judge righteously. Mm -hmm. So it, I'm not saying anything against the law because it's all made up. This is a crazy generation we are now. The Bible says simple and adulterous generation. And they seek it after the sign. Well, the sign I would give to you seven years. Seven years. If I was a judge, seven years. Prove yourself. You know, God is the judge over the judges. And if the judge did not judge justly and not hear from God, anything can go. Right? right? Anything can go. So how would you judge justly? If you married someone, you're single now. If you married someone and here they come creeping in and sliding like a snake, and they see you with money, would you, if you might tell, would you detect that right away? With God now, or with God. See, God is the one who warns you. Yes, what would you do? Yes, ma'am, I would hope I was walking by the Spirit so, I, hope? so I could discern that, you know, the, the motives and the, the intentions weren't good. And God will let you, if you walk with God, God will let you know and lead you into all truth. So I believe, yeah, if you follow the Holy Spirit, he'll lead you into all truth mm -hmm. and not let you fall into the, the enemy's snare. Because mm -hmm. there are a lot of enemies out there trying to, like you said, for gain, for money. That, that seemed to be the whole game, G-A-M-E. Mm -hmm. It's a game anymore. Mm -hmm. and, and Satan came, we have to look at the whole picture, the Bible, they were poison. Mm -hmm. Okay, now here, here is a game going on. Mm -hmm. I see you with all that you have. Remember now that Satan came to the woman. Mm -hmm. It was the woman. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking the word, you know. Mm -hmm. But it was the woman that he came to. Mm -hmm. 
and see people, men, as well as women, you have to be careful, you know, who's coming at your door and for what cause, for what cause. There are signs of love, really. Love endures. Now, we talk about the endurance now. Love endured all things, right? Now, it, it, the vows of sickness, right? Uh, in health, poor, rich, right? You've got to go through all of those things, all of the vows. And you got to hang in there with them no matter what situation it is, if it's God. Now, if God put them together, easily done. I say easily done because love a cause. It would cause one to just yield to the other and the other to the other. Mm -hmm. So there would be no separation, no dividing. I will love you until death mm -hmm. do you part. Mm -hmm. So all of this poisoning and getting rich for nothing this is the thing of the world today. And you know, God despises all of it, all of it, all of it, all of it. And what's the use of living if you got to live wrong? What's the use of living if everything is just wrong? Is there anybody that want to do right? You know an answer? Yes, ma'am. the mic. Only the righteous and only those who have truly given themselves to Jesus Christ and who have repented of their sins and were baptized in the Holy Spirit. But it takes a willing mind first. The Holy Spirit can draw you, but you still have to have a willing mind. Because the Holy Spirit is calling all of us into peace and he's calling all of us to come to church. But not everybody's being disobedient to the Spirit. Mm -hmm. This is the problem. God is calling all of us. The Spirit is for the nations. It's for every tongue, nation, creed, and people. But it's just people are being ignorant to the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. because of the pleasures of the world and the sins of the flesh have accumulated amongst the nations. And I think it was Moses that said he enjoyed the pleasures. People who enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, but he rather enjoyed the people with the people of God. So he had no desire for the flesh. How do they kill the flesh? That, that's got to be killed. Mm -hmm. That has got to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. And this is what causing all the afflictions out there in the world because too much flesh is running around. Mm -hmm. Nothing but flesh from the head yes, to the feet. Yes, you know, and they're not realizing they're going to come an end to all that. Yes, now, it is coming to all of that. Amen. I call all that stuff. I'm from West Virginia. I believe in speaking plain. I'm trying to big words. But hell sets in before the spirit sets in. And we welcome hell quicker than we do God. Amen. What we need is a straight going pastor. Like Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, Christ is our pastor. Yes, sir. And you don't hear people saying that. But Christ is your pastor. Yes, sir. We go to church yes, under the pastor. Yes, sir. Uh, he's the head yes. of the body, right? Amen. He's the pastor. Amen. Yes, you know, he, he gives according to his heart to the people. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. But uh, 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 no flesh is actually the pastor. Amen. Amen. I give God the honor. Yes, yes. No, uh, 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 because pastors make mistakes. Right. And if it were not so, there would be so many of them coming down. Mm -hmm. yes. See, but God is a good God. Yes. What do you say? Yes, God, he's a good God. And people in their conscience, they need to 
get more God conscious, conscious to God in their conscious because the big question is with Jesus, where are you going to, you know, I think we talked about this, but where are you going to spend eternity? Where do you want to spend eternity? And that calls for you while you're here and alive. Walk in righteousness. Do what Jesus has told you to do. Because the adversary, like you said, come to kill, steal, and destroy. He don't want you to know that. And he know his time is short. And he, he, he wants to take everyone with him, especially God's people. He's trying to fool God's people now. And it's a fine line out there that he may look good. It may sound like God, but it isn't. And it takes the Holy Ghost to let you know who is who. Because he's such an imitator. And a lot of people and I've seen, I've worked with them, they think they're right. But they are all going straight to hell because of believing the adversary and his acts. But with Christ, God's word is his word. It may seem stiff, but it's strong. And it's going to take us into the kingdom if we do what he tells us to do. And we must have a mind. We must, uh, I can't think of the word, we must uh, take ourselves and just burn down with this. Regardless of the cost, God's word is real. And we must obey and he said we must spirit, uh, worship him in spirit and in truth. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we find people find it hard to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. They rather tell a lie and get by for that moment. Mm -hmm. But they don't know down the road they're going to pay for that. Well, you know, um, they're gaining the kingdoms of this world. Yes. That's why it's so easy to get off track. Yes, yes, because the kingdom of God is so different than the kingdom of the world. Yes, yes. And we come, we come this far, I like to say the song, we come this far by faith Amen. in believing. And when we come this far, it reminds me of Hebrew, the 11th chapter, mm -hmm. faith. And everything they did, it was by faith. If you notice, everything by faith is by faith that. And they continue to talk about by faith. Amen. And when you do things by faith, Amen. you're limited. This is what I have found out. Now with God, all things are possible, but God takes his people through the rivers, waters, he take you through depths mm -hmm. trials. Mm -hmm. It's not always easy and it's not always beautiful. Right. Mm -hmm. And the things that you suffer, see, if you suffer with me, you reign with me. Right. So I have seen nothing but sufferings and the works of God. Yes, yes. And that is the truth. Some people say, well, how did you gain this? How did you get this? How are you doing that? Listen, it's just not an overnight thing. No, it's not. All the days of your life, as you live for Christ, mm -hmm. you're suffering his cross. Yes, yes, yes. It's his cross. Mm -hmm. And we, there's a song mom used to sing, must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world will free. Yes. No. No, there's a cross for everyone. Yes, and then it points back and there's one for me. Amen. So Amen. we have to recognize, say, no, there's a cross for me. Right. Don't be looking at nobody else and that's your cross. No, <laughs> no. We have a cross and that cross is denying yourself first. Amen. You know, Amen. we have to deny ourselves in order to carry a cross. Uh -huh. If not, we think we're better than Christ. Mm. If we go any, any other kind of way, then we have another mind. Otherwise, right. we have another mind, right. and that mind is not the mind of Christ. Amen. So in all that we talked about, people have lost their minds. Oh, yes. oh, and people say, well, I'm still in right mind. No, 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 you're not. You slipping. Amen. Your mind will slip and slip, and 
because of other things in your mind and all, all the time you're taking these things of the world in your mind, you're slipping away from God. Mm -hmm. And so therefore you do the things of the world. Mm -hmm. So then if God see to give you a reprobate mind, you're not coming back. That's right. See, now that's the problem right there. Will they make it back in time? Will they make it back? Because God has set boundaries. God has set time. Yes, sir. And we have to stay in for that timing. And when he call your name, it may not be even for sickness or death, but he'll call your name for a certain situation. And if you do not answer, your mind is gone. Oh. Your mind is gone. And people need to hear from God. Like I said over there, hear from God. 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 We need to hear from God. The ruler of all nations. We need to hear from God. God is our God. He's a right now in God. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Don't mind suffering. God needs another Martin Luther King or somebody going to come out of that, out of the bull rushes. God needs somebody to come out of the cave. Need somebody like Elijah. Come on out. Hallelujah. Show the hand and show the mercies of God. Show the mercies of God. Hallelujah. How God can do anything but fail. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put fire around the trench. Glory be to God. Call on God. That's why I say, oh Lord, will thou be, will thou be available in our generation? Will thou come forth in our time? Will we see the miracles that was then? Like when Moses stretched forth the rod and the, mm -hmm. oh, and the oh, waters God. parted Ooh, and walked on dry land. Is it possible again, Lord? Is it possible? Show the hand. Show the hand. There are miracles, of course, but there are greater miracles. And when I look at the Bible, I say, those are the miracles. Those are the kind that I desire to see. Those are the kind that God moved man out of his way. Hallelujah. Let him come forth. Come forth, Holy Ghost. Come forth, Jesus. Come forth in that mighty hand. Come forth. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, it's a time and hour for God to raise up a nation that will obey. Yes, sir. I fear that power is Glory be to God. To all of now days, they're trying to do the same as you pronounced. But I know God is able to keep those from falling. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's good, God. Yes, he is. Stretch forth that mighty hand, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. I will shake your hands because I believe in the Bible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I believe in the word of God. Hallelujah. I know you do too. Yes, sir. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. I believe, I believe because he, he causes us to believe. The power there causes you to believe. Yes, it does. Yes, sir. The power is what causes us to believe. Yes, sir. Yes, we believe what we see. Mighty hand of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Sing us a song. Oh, 
Let's go. 
Beautiful Clay Tommy, Clay Tommy, and Clay Tommy. God is so good to us. I just don't know what to think. You know, he always come in, like you said, refreshes us. We don't know what we're going to say. Amen. But we know God is But when we all get together, Yes! Hallelujah! Yes. 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 And we all get together oh. on one accord. Yes! Hallelujah! Yes. Hey! Glory! Hallelujah! Yes. 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 That's yes. all right. It's good yes. to feel yes. him, isn't it? Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, 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 my Lord, my Lord. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Yes, play Tom and play. Oh, man.